Let's go to the tail of the tape here between these two, and Mutacic and Tiller. All right, like well, the four-inch reach advantage is right away what takes my eye here, Kelvin Tiller. But can he do something with it? We're going to find out here. Elvis Butakic is a really tough guy. Let's go inside the cage. Jazz Sakuro for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by the Green Beret Foundation. We are scheduled for three rounds at a World Series of Fighting catchweight of 195 pounds. And now, introducing on the blue side, his record is perfect. Six victories, no losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing 196 pounds. Fighting out of Topeka, Kansas. Introducing Kelvin, the mama's boy, Tiller. Is undefeated. He seems to love the ground better, so he better uses combinations to set up takedowns, throw lazy strikes so he gets countered, and then he can use counters to set up takedowns. Once on the ground, set up submissions with strikes. And now his opponent on the red side of the Decagon. His record, 13 victories, three defeats, standing six feet tall, weighing 195 and one half pounds. Yeah, fighting yeah. out of Des Moines, Iowa, yeah. presenting Elvis the King. Get it, buddy. It's all you. This guy is good everywhere, but based on his opponent's record, which has more submission victories than knockouts, keep the fight standing. He can always go to the ground since he's very well, very well versed. Use a lot of movement with short combinations. And with the cage locks, the referee is her doom. And Michelle gets us started here for round one of this fight between Lutacic and Ready. Tiller. Let's do it. We'll be back. Now, <laughs> yeah, here we go, boss. And he talked about Lutacic. The last fight he lost, he said, I didn't have enough urgency. We'll see if he's able to show that here early in this one. He's going to need urgency. But like I said, he's good everywhere. Five knockouts, six submissions. So he says, bring it. We're at the catch weight here in this fight of 195 pounds and Tiller in the blue and Mutacic in the red and wow. Tiller takes him down. Very well timed takedown there. Waited for a power strike from Mutacic and just took him to the ground. So Tiller has got Mutacic on the ground right now here to start less than a minute in we go back real quick catch weight this is a, a weight agreed upon by the both both of the fighters before the fight yeah and i like that because both are in their natural weight class so they have more power i've never been a big believer of weight cutting you know because a lot of fighters say oh i've got weight because my opponent they they, they cut more weight than i and that's why they're strong it's not you know the more weight you cut the weaker you get don't do it you almost feel like if this, it's your true weight, the weight you're good at fighting at. We see two guys here who are going to be both in shape, with a lot of power and both in endurance. Look at there. You know, Dylan looking for that guillotine, but Mutabcic doesn't let him get the guillotine because he needed a guard around him. And Mutabcic said, no, 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 that's not going to happen. Trying to get the submission early, and he gets out of it. Good reversal that time here. You know, and uh, Tiller, six wins, only one went to a decision. I mean, this guy knocked the guy out and submitted four. So he's a very powerful individual. Yeah, he's got an 87% finishing rate. 11 of his 13 wins have finished before six. The message just said five knockouts. His three losses were by decision. Uh huh. And a low blow here, and Mutacic. Yep, that will take the steam out of it. He's got five minutes to recover from this here. Let's take a look back at it. Yeah, always fun to voice, right? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. I mean, That's a front kick right down there. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, come on. Now, what is that in terms of scoring now here? Boss. I mean, what, what did the judges do, you know, in terms of Tiller with, with that low blow, that low kick? Nothing right now. This was uh, accidental. So, uh, but if it happens again, he might get a warning now. And, uh, and then if it happens again, they take a point away. And that's like 
an A-10 round. So oh, yeah. it's going to be very hard. You're going to be very dominating to make it an even round. You pretty much lost the round. So there's Kelvin Tiller, who grew up in Kansas City, Kansas. He does a little bit of everything, Please wrestling, kicks, boxing, the whole nine he's being talking to right now. Yeah, that's the warning, so yeah. uh, just know nothing's happening right now. Yeah, okay. He's been a pro for just under three years. In pro September of 2011, now Mutacic is fired up, coming back and missing on an uppercut. Leg kick from Tiller, going to work. Mutacic up against the cage. All right, we got to look into Miller's record now and see if those submissions came due to strikes or not, right? 6-0, and oh, undefeated is Tiller. You have a four ways by submission, so that could be submission due to strikes because he's a very powerful right. guy. Now he's on his back. I want to say that before, I was so impressed with Tiller taking Mutapchit down because he comes from Des Moines, Iowa. There's a lot of wrestling out there. <laughs> But now he reversed the table. He's on top. What can Tiller do right now? Mutopsic has Tiller on his back. Mutopsic born and raised in Bosnia. Spent half of his life there and the rest here in the States. Pushing the arm. He might look there. Looks like a figure four doing it with his legs. He's got to watch out. Okay. No. Kind of looking for a uh, crucifix here. What he's doing is, it's in the, f from the top. He's trapping the arm, the right arm from his opponent. And then he's going to trap the left arm with his right. And then he's going to start raining down left elbows. Got a couple elbows already in. And there you go, boss. You're right at the right. He needs to lay higher on the chest, though. Because if he lays on the belly, he can buck up just like he's doing right now. Tiller's able and to get he out gets of it. Out. Yeah. How does he do that though without losing somewhat of his position here in the hole that he's got until as he tries to work his way up more towards his chest? You know, you can. You know, you just lay all the way on the top of his chest because then if he box up, there's not a lot of movement going on there. But you know, again, I'm talking going back to the Iowa. Uh, <laughs> and here I'm, I'm amazed again how Tiller, Tiller's movement is. This is a guy we haven't seen before and he comes in and just, I mean, looks very impressive to me. Good reversal by Tiller, and now he's got Mutacic on his back. Trying to go to work. Looking for a dust choke maybe here. No, not now. A little bit of ground and pound there from Tiller, who said earlier to me yesterday, he tries to set the pace with his jab, with a quick jab. He's unpredictable, though, with his jab and his low leg kick. Oh, look at that. How about a high one? That doesn't quite work out. No, but it's a nice little warning uh, for keep your hands up. Ten seconds to go here in round one. Elvis Mutopcic and Kelvin Tiller going to round two here in Las Vegas when we return in a moment. Ah. Right there, guys, you can still right there. JT, are they throwing it to me or am I opening? Beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You can do this, Joey. Yeah. Second time. Feel, feel. We've got an exciting fight going on right now between Elvis Mutopchik and Kelvin Tiller. But right now, I'm in the locker room of Luis Gonzalez as he prepares for his main event, main event fight against Luis Palomino. I asked him his thoughts on Palomino, and he said, it's no surprise. This guy's a knockout artist. He wants to try to put me to sleep. 
To do it, he has to close the distance. And when he does, my takedowns are fast. They're light speed VT fast. I will put him down. I will control the fight. I will win it this way. Now, if you also notice on his shirt, you'll see the MMA pink. They're doing this to raise awareness for breast cancer. So as Luis Gonzalez goes into his fight tonight, he's also helping women that are fighting breast cancer across the world. Guys, we'll throw it back to you. All right, Joey, good stuff. Thank you. Gonzalez is undefeated at 9-0. and We'll see him coming up later. We'll see if he can stay undefeated. But that's later on here, the third fight of the night. It's a round two between Elvis Mutopcic and Kelvin Tiller. Tiller's in blue, Mutopcic is in red. Look at that long left every time from Tiller, finding its target. Tiller said he needed to use more combos. He criticizes himself the most after he looked at the last fights. He is undefeated, though, boss. Yep. At 6 0, but said, I got to get more combos in there to be more successful. Now he's got his leg tied up as Mutacic brings him down. He kind of gave that up. Is that because he's maybe getting tired or not, Tiller? Because he could have popped back up, you would think. Maybe he's just saying, okay, I'll defend from my back, take a little break, come back with more power. Well, taking a couple shots in the process, too. Yeah. With the elbows. That's the thing. If Mutapcic keeps <laughs> hitting the belly, you know, the midsection, then it's going to be hard to breathe. Gets a right in there, Mutapcic. Pounding away. Elbow to the body, elbow to the face. He needs to keep on moving here. Tiller trying to grab his wrists. Whoa, good spin there. And still can't get out of it. No corner from Tiller was uh, shouting at him. You got to get it back up. Wait for the right moment. How much is the corner, you know, when they can see other positions that you probably can't and know where you got to get your positioning to get yourself out of a situation like this? It's an important thing, you know, because sometimes also maybe you don't see it because you're focusing on something else. Right. Maybe the fighter thinks, oh, I just dazed a bit of punch and you start focusing on strikes, but they totally don't realize that you're setting yourself up to be reversed. You see, and that's why a good corner and listening to your corner, because that's important, a lot of fighters don't do that, is so important. So Tiller trying to get the reversal here, and Mutapcic yeah, going to get a few shots in. He tries to lock up that arm again, like he did, but then he did it from side mount. Right now, from half guard, it's a very hard thing to do. Because again, he lays on the belly. The only thing that Tiller needs to do is buck up one time, and then he frees his arm. Now, most of this round, obviously, he played on the canvas. Nice elbow. The top chief is doing a great job pushing up against the fence. You know, if you put his head against the fence so it has a little dent in it, so to say that he looks forward, he can't buck up because then he will hurt his own neck. And that's what he's doing right now. He's immobilizing him. Rutopcic told us yesterday, Kelvin is young and explosive. He can make some errors, though, and get away with it. He wants to make him pay for the errors here, trying to capitalize on his mistakes in this fight. He doesn't feel like Tiller's been tested. Tiller's undefeated at 6-0. and This work. Rutopcic pounding away. Trying to get himself in position to get a submission. He's had Tiller on his back for well over two minutes. Yeah, Tiller needs to push himself away from the fence. Put his hand up against the fence. Don't grab it, though, because the right away will get away like this. You know, but he keep, has to keep on moving, keep on doing it. This is a bad position to be in. I think at this point he knows he's just hanging on to the end of this round. Maybe also, you know, maybe he did get tired a little bit and takes a break right now. More power in the third. Mutamcic definitely winning this round too. The third when we come back. Yeah. Push him off and walk up that cage. Come up that cage. Come up that cage. Again, okay? 
Okay, we need this. Sit there all okay. day like that. Can't, can't be on your back. Okay, this is your round right here. This is where we got to end it. Okay? You got to be long. Don't get on your back. Don't Open be your on guard. your back. Open your guard. Start using your feet. Start push them back and try to walk up that cage. If you get that one that round as well. Here. I like what you're doing with your head and I yeah. like your elbows. Good hip pressure too. You keep those hips heavy like that. You're doing a great job controlling them. You're doing a great job controlling with those elbows too. You're beating them up, man. You got that, okay? When you throw your combinations, I want you to finish with that low kick and then come back to your hand. Got it? Inside. Outside. Okay? If you want to go to the inside, that's fine. I want you to finish with that low kick though. Let's go, boys. All right? Let's go. Let's do it, buddy. Let's start. Third round underway here between Elvis Mutacic and Kelvin Tiller. Tiller came out fresh again. His corner told him, you got to win this round. This is your round. Push, push, push. You cannot be on your back. And they're right. And this is where experience is going to play a factor. Let's listen to some corner audio from Kelvin Tiller here between rounds. Okay, you can't be on your back. Okay, this is your round right here. This is where we got to end. Okay, you got to be long. Don't get on your back. Don't be on your back. Uh -oh. We have to have this round. You got it. You heard it. Deep breath. Yeah. You heard it there, boss. You have to yes. have this round. You have this round. Don't go on your back. And that just happened. So it's going to be hard for Taylor now. Very hard. He's going to pull off a submission yeah. or, or, or a knockout. Too much of this happened in round two where Mutacic was on top of Tiller. And from the corner from Mutacic during the last stoppage they said it was a great job by him controlling him especially with his elbows and they wanted to know when he goes to the low kick to also come back with a hand big hand that's it you know great uh, cornering there from Mutapcic you know for people who say okay he's on his back can he knock him out yes you can knock him out there is always a way to knock somebody out I saw a Russian guy in mount position and he got knocked out from the guy uh, on wow. the bottom that was a crazy thing. It's the only one I saw, though. <laughs> so it's not a recurring thing. Get it just right. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Looking for a triangle choke here. Mutapcic knows, though. Post is up right away. Pushes himself away. He cannot have his feet locked. And Tiller gets the elbow yeah, in and is drawing blood now from Mutapcic. Wow. So, hey, you had just said it. Yeah, he needs to go. And he's got four submission victories. And you saw that was fast, and Mutapcic is just, you know, very savvy. He knows where he is and body positioning, so he stopped it. Many other guys maybe would have fallen into that triangle choke. So he was able to get out of it, especially after controlling that second round and now trying to do the same thing here in the third. An up kick is legal right there. Okay, not anymore. But Mutapcic was on his feet. And once he's on his feet and hands are loose from the ground, they can kick you in the face from the bottom. He's going to try to trap that arm again. The right arm from Tiller. Watch. He's going to push it down. There it is. Step over with his left leg. But Tiller knows now. He doesn't want to stretch the arm. Oh, got it. Now he lays on his chest. Well, still on the belly a little bit. You see? And that's why there's leverage. Buck up, man. I say this all the time. They even made a shirt out of it. Just buck. <laughs> because it, you cannot get out of so many crazy situations. You have no clue. Many guys don't follow those basic concepts, like laying on the chest. If you lay a little bit in the middle or on the belly, they only need to buck up and they're out. Or they can look at least for an escape. And it's just a little bit unlike Kelvin Tiller, who's at 6-0, and has a KL, four submissions, and a win by decision. And now he's the one in the precarious situation here throughout most of this entire fight. Yep. Laying there, you saw Mujabji was looking for a figure four there. And uh, which you actually can pull off from a half guard. You got to pin his hips down, though. It's an, uh, 
It's like a bird nest thing that you have to do. Yeah, it's very hard to explain for the people who don't know what it is. A couple of but elbows, though, by Mutopcic. And Tiller's been able to fight back a little bit here, boss, and get a couple in there. But he's been on his back the whole round. Yeah, and again, looking for that triangle choke. Trying to push that uh, left or right arm in for Mutopcic. I tried to pass it with his right leg. It's got to be defense here by Mutopcic for the final 33 seconds. And he pretty much has this fight won. Yes, yes. He was actually trying to push his left arm and push his right leg over. Double body shots to the right hand by Mutopcic. Well, tried to rain down an elbow there. I did that. That worked. Well, it cut the opponent open. It didn't stop him. Not going to be enough for Tiller here tonight. Mutopcic controlling it. Tiller on his back throughout. And that's it. When we return, the decision of our third fight of the night here in the World Series of Fighting 12. Back to the joint, the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas after this. Back inside the cage, Jazz Sakuro for the official decision here between Mutopcic and Tiller. After three rounds of professional fighting inside the Decagon, we go to the judges' scorecards for your winner. Judge one scores at 30 to 27. Judges two and three both score at 29 to 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Elvis the King Mutopcic. Our highlights, autoshopper.com. And it was right from the beginning. There a good play and move by Tiller, but then Mutopcic was able to get him on the canvas and keep him there throughout the entire second round. That's what he was able to do. Kelvin Tiller's corner says, you got to have this one here in the third. He was unable to do it. And right from the start of the third round, Mutopcic, a little bit of ground and pound there. As a sportsmanship from those two, and Mutacic with the win over Taylor. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.